everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 20 by 20 inch uh, canvas that I'm going to be doing a traveling funnel pour on. And let's go over my paints. My base coat is going to be two-toned and the white is the uh, Blick Relic, um, hold on here, the Blick Relic Titanium White. And the other half is mixed with the uh, Blick Relic Titanium White and just a little dab of the primary yellow. So it will be a two-tone base. My next paint is the Modern Masters Burnt Orange. My next paint is the Porridge Posse Paint Deep Lagoon Shimmer. Very pretty shimmery green color. The rest of my paints are all Arteza paints and I have the Crimson Red. combination of phalo blue and I added a dab of silver to that just to bling it up a little bit. Another combination of their gold and their yellow ochre again just to give that that yellow ochre just a little bit of shine to it. And then I have the Mars Black. Bordeaux Red, Pearl Electric Blue, and the last one is the Pearl Lime Green. Pouring medium today, seven parts of the mix, one part paint, and I did thin my paints with about three drops of water, so I can show you consistency here. Just leaves a little trace there. I didn't want to thin them too much. And no silicone is added today. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera, put down my bait, my two-tone base coat, and then I'll bring you back and we'll start filling the funnel and get to painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my two-tone base coat down and I uh, did give it a quick torch. So let's get started with uh, putting our paint in the funnel. And I did add a little extra paint around my line that I'm going to try and um, follow as I do the funnel pour. So... Just going to start with some colors and I, I have them laid out here in the order that I want to add them to the funnel so they play well together. And I really am hoping this turns out. I love working with the mix. I'm going to add a little bit of my yellow here since I do have some left. And I'm going to add a little bit of the white, since I do have that left also. Okay, and then I'll just start the adding process over again. This time I'm just going to pour the paint right down the middle here. And it can get mixed up.
Okay, and what I'm also going to do is just take a popsicle stick and I'm just going to run it through the paint, maybe just twice to mix them up a little bit more. Okay. So to start, I'm just going to pump the funnel a little bit here like this. And then move it around. And I'm going to use all my paints here. Okay. Plenty of paint. Now I'm going to give it a torch. I'm going to actually move my paints because I'm going to have to tilt a little bit here. And since this is such a large canvas, I'm going to need all the room I can get. And I do have paints left over if I want to add some after I'm done tilting. And I may even blow some things out yet. I'm just really not sure at this point. See how it goes. Just adding a little paint on the side here. And since I do have extra paint, I think I will just add a little paint to help the paint, the other paint flow here. Add a little white. Add a little yellow here. Okay. So let's start tipping and I will apologize right off if you are out of camera for part of this. I will try and keep you in camera as much as possible. And I will tip down this way. And then again, this way. And I'm pretty happy with the amount of paint that I do have on my canvas. It doesn't seem to be too excessive here today. It's already moving slow, which is fine because I did plan on having this negative space.
okay and now I'm going to bring it back Just want to move it down a little bit more here on the yellow side. The more I stretch it out, the prettier it is. Okay, and now I'll bring it back. And I'm going to take a look at it now. This is just looking beautiful to me. I'm gonna check my corners here. Let me see if I can go over this corner just a little bit here. Okay, just going to take another look at it here. Okay. And I think I will torch it. You can see flecks of gold coming up in here. So pretty. I do have some cells coming up. A few things I'd like to do. I'd, I'd like to take this corner and just bring it down a little more. That's good. And bring it back. Stretch it out. And then I'm looking to try and get this off the canvas here, if I can. I'm not sure I have enough paint to do that, but if I could get part of it off even, that would be good. Looks like it's moving, but it is moving very slow. It's just beautiful, these colors that are coming through. And I see it is coming down there now. I just felt like that was too blunt looking. It needed to have a little bit more more to it. That's perfect. Okay, and I'm going to bring it back now. And I'm going to take another look at it. I'm so very happy with this painting. It's just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to give it another torch here. There's really no areas that I think I need to change. It's just, it's really pretty.
Okay. And I will get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. Again, this is a 20 by 20 inch canvas that I did a traveling funnel cup pour on. And here's the upper left-hand corner. Just beautiful how these colors came out. That's one of my favorite areas there. The colors are so vivid in here. where this yellow is so pretty in the red just it's just just gorgeous coming down to the lower left hand corner and i just love the colors in here too and i did leave some negative space and i'm going to take you over this whole painting because i just think it's it's so pretty that I want you to see it all. I did get some cells here. Here's some cute cells in there. And we'll go back down here again. More cells. I love the blue and the red. So pretty in there. Looks like outer space almost. The stripes in here, so vivid. The blue and the black together, very pretty. Here's another very nice area right in here. This is beautiful up in here. This is the upper right hand corner and I'll take you down there. This is another one of my favorite spots right in there. Very, very pretty. And the lower right hand corner. Little bit of negative space there. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. That would be great. Make sure that you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would certainly help my channel. And until next time, take care everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.